So guys, right, the engine room, the motor of your golf swing. How the shoulders really work in the swing, and it's different to what a lot of people think. Now we've got some cutting edge drills and exercises in this video, some things I dare say you haven't seen before. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and if you enjoy the video, hit like. All right, guys, let's get started. So hi, everyone, right, this is gonna blow you away. We've tested 500 PGA Tour pros, compliments of Dr. Robert Neal world's leading biomechanics golf instructor. And we're gonna show you how the shoulders really move. We're gonna have a look at some club players, some amateur players, and we've got some great drills uh, coming up with some stuff you haven't seen before. Let's stay tuned to the end of the video. Now we're gonna go through some great players here, some evidence-based material, and uh, keep it really simple. We're looking at the shoulder plane at the top. We're gonna draw it down. It's gonna point one yard outside the ball. Now that yard is 41 degrees. Have a look at this. Remember that number. Now, we can be technical without being mechanical, all right? It's an important thing to notice. Now, when he's halfway through, and the arms are halfway through, we can see that he's halved that yard, half a yard, and that number is, look at the number, if you can see it above the shoulder, 55 degrees. Now, the reason I'm showing you these positions is because it is absolutely mind-blowing how close top players are to these positions. And uh, we'll just go quickly through a couple of swings here. McElroy at the top of the swing, drawing a line down. What a ball striker. This guy is 40 degrees halfway through, when the arms are halfway through, 55 degrees. Now, we're going to have a look at why they halve this. This is something that's important to understand. It has a really great chain reaction, a positive motion on the rest of your swing. Now, let's have a look at uh, Adam Scott. Many say the best swing in world golf, 42 degrees halfway through. And I'm not kidding. Look at that. 55. Now, this is the one thing that stays extremely constant amongst great ball strikers. You know, even back in the day when we're looking at great ball strikers, arguably one of the best ever, Sam Snead, 41 degrees here. And on the way through, you're going to see the same thing here. Look at this, bang, look at that, 55. Now, by creating or getting as close as you can to these positions here, it really is something that just makes such a massive difference. I wish I had have known this many, many years ago. And it, look, it doesn't matter how you swing. Now, when you're looking at someone like Jim Furyk and people are saying, oh, you know, it doesn't matter how you swing back, you know, have a look at Jim Furyk. Well, have a look at this because you've got the exact same positions and numbers happening. And if the arms are higher or lower or whatever they're doing with their wrists, you need this motor, this engine working effectively. Now, let's have a look at a couple of amateur players here before we move on to some awesome drills. And unfortunately, most amateur players are nowhere near these positions and they don't even know that they're doing it. That's a real shame because they're practicing really, really hard and they never reach their potential. And they're having troubles in the backswing and in the through swing. I'm not, look, I'm not going to get into all the issues, but they're going to be flipping it. They're not getting sharp lean. They're coming in steep. And once you get to certain positions like this at 24 degrees, I mean, to instinctively get any pressure ball ground, clean contact, you know, they just tip everything over. It comes in steep. You know, that club head's just miles away from it, should be over here. And once you're crossing that line there, you know, that's the toilet of the swing. You really should be filming your swings, showing world-class golf instruction. So guys, let's get into now the reason why these top players halve that shoulder plane through the ball and a little test to see how good you can move your body. Some really, really good drills coming. So people, why are we seeing the world's best ball strikers steepen or halve this shoulder plane through the golf ball? One of the important messages to get through to everyone here is the combination of tilt and turn needs to be appropriate. What do I mean by that? Well, if we have too much tilt and not enough turn, most likely the club's coming too far from the inside. The middle point of your swing's too far behind the ball. We can hit some fat shots and thin shots, and it starts to look something like this. Now, the other side of the scale is too much turn and not enough tilt. And we see a lot of golfers in this position with their head moving forwards. And generally speaking, for most players, the arms will then come out and they're really hitting the wrong side of the golf ball and not having the best entry. We need to get this combination of tilts and turns correct. Closer, the closer you get to this 40 degree angle on the way back and 55, even if you can't, but the closer you get, the better you hit. This video is not just for club players. This video is for advanced players. This video is for everybody. Now let's get into some great drills and there's a test coming up. I want to see if you can actually do that. See if you can get your shoulders in the correct position, right? Let's get stuck into it. 
So guys, right, got an absolute belter of a drill here. Let's have a look at this. Creating body awareness, taking your ball striking to the next level. Hands opposite the thighs. We're going right hand, right knee, left hand, left hip. Have a look at this. The knee gets to the golf ball. Right hand, right knee, left hand, left hip. Now this left side extending acts as a wall. The head cannot move forwards. We need this lateral shift. The more lateral shift you have, the more compression, the more shaft lean you will get. Getting across, club golfers need three quarters of this lead leg through the wall. Getting this right knee to the golf ball, this is how you get shaft lean, creating body awareness. Now, one of the things that's important to notice is this right hip, the PGA2 average, compliments of Dr. Robert Neal, worldclassgolf.com, who's analyzed 550 professionals, a biomechanic instructor, it's unbelievable. All right, so this right hip is actually seven centimeters lower at impact than where it started at. It's not much. But it's important to notice because when you actually create shaft lean here, you know, see that my club, I've shortened the radius of my swing. I'm over the ball. But if we get down a little bit here lower, we're going to get that shaft lean. Now, people go their entire lives. They play golf forever flipping it and not getting that compression hardly ever on the golf ball. And it's a real shame. And that's where you need evidence-based instruction and chipping away at your golf. Guys, this is really, really important. So guys, don't you love hitting golf balls? You know when you finally got time and you get down to the range, hit some balls? <laughs> now, let's get started. Now we're gonna lay the club. This is the first drill, and we're gonna get some really, build some really good feels here now. Lay the club between or on your elbow joints here. Fold your arms, you've got the grip on this side. Now, from this direction, getting this backswing in a great place, it just makes the downswing really easy. It really does. Now let's have a look at this. When we get ourselves Pivoting correctly, I'm going to turn back, right, and we're going to get the end of this grip to point about a metre outside the golf ball, okay? Now you're going to get that right leg to extend back, it's good for your back, and if you struggle with it, get the left heel up off the ground a little bit for the guys over 40, for the senior golfers, let that left heel come up and you'll get some more range of motion. Okay, you can see myself pivoting up here. See where we start to get that look where it's all lined up in a great position. Now, I really like this drill. I'm going to start off without a golf club. Now, you wouldn't have seen this one before. This is what I show a lot of my students without a golf club. And it really does also help improve your range of motion and creating big, clear pictures in your head. Now, you pop the left hand, the lead hand, on the right thigh. Now, when you get into the swing, what we're going to do is we're going to slide the lead hand down the thigh until we get to the knee. Now, if you lift the lead heel just slightly, you'll be able to get deeper, more depth. Why should we keep the left heel on the ground? I mean, we've seen just about every Ben Hogan, Sam Snead, we've seen so many great players lift this lead heel. We've seen McElroy Garcia, we're still seeing 30% of the modern day players doing it. You won't even notice it, you know, if you're getting into this position here. But you'll notice it when you let the heel come up off the ground, you can get better tilts, better turns, depth in your pivot. So guys, right, getting the shoulder in the right position. I'm going to show you how to practice it and uh, keep it simple here. So get your reps in. I mean, you've got to get your reps in, right? You've got to hit a lot of golf balls. Otherwise, you know, there's no magic wand. And jumping from YouTube video to YouTube video can be quite confusing at times. Worldclassgolf.com, evidence-based instruction. Now, guys, have a look at this. We've got to, if you imagine if you had lipstick on, you don't want any lipstick <laughs> on your shirt. All right, so when you get to the top, you can feel like that, it's just touching your chin and it's not covering your mouth. High left shoulder, high right hip here coming down. We're in all sorts of trouble. So here's how you practice it, all right? Take your address position, get three swings. One, two, extend that right leg back, three, all right? And then give it a hit. One, two, three, hit. One, two, three, hit. Do it five times, take a break. Come in and do it again. 
pump out your practice swings, right? We're trying to create, imitate to create. We're trying to make things automatic. You're not going to be out in the golf course thinking about how to do all these things, every single area of your swing. This is just a simple, great tip. Don't get any lipstick on your shirt. Get that extension. It's going to keep you on top of the shot to hit much more solid golf shots. So guys, we need this drill. This is a great drill to get your shoulders working on a better plane. Stopping this left side being up and this right shoulder coming out. We've got the lob wedge of the sand iron. One of the shortest clubs that you've got. You can pop it across the top of your chest so that the end of the grip, the whole grip, is on the right side of the right shoulder. Okay, now this is what we do. To get those sensations and get those feels that we're after, those big clear pictures that we need, we take our address position and we just pop our head or the cap against the wall. Right Now when we move back, what we're trying to do essentially is not have this club head touch the wall. This is going to keep this left shoulder down. It's almost like a bit of a stretch actually, or a bit of fitness training here. Now one, one side complements the other. So we're going to draw, this leads the right side back at that symmetrical knee work. Now when we're moving through the ball, it's the same thing here, this grip is not going to touch the wall. So we're getting ourselves, when, the, when this grip touches the wall, the right shoulder comes out, the left hip is too low, the right hip is too high, and we're in trouble. So by moving it in both directions, just into impact here, we start to get a feeling of what the body needs to do. And then you can move away, of course, and have a swing and feel these positions and get an understanding of how these shoulders are moving. This is you know, a great drill. Uh, one of the better ones, actually, you don't need a wall. Obviously, you can get out there and just imagine there's one there, and that will give you the sensations of the left shoulder moving down, the right shoulder moving under, and this brings us into a great place to really pivot and turn correctly. You know, moving through the ball, once we get that tilt turning, get our tilts correct, I should say, we start to turn through the ball with this pec and opening up and your trunk opening up and getting ourselves to rotate. It's much easier to rotate when you get the tilts correct. Really, really important part of the golf swing. So guys, regardless of your skill level, this next exercise is a belter. It really is fantastic and it really helps supplying us building a feel through the golf ball. Let's have a look at it. We've done it recently on another video, had a lot of questions about it. Lead hand on the golf club, getting yourself in the address position, moving through the golf ball and what we're doing, what happens is the left side really, really extends and it gives us a feeling of coming underneath, although we can be moving forwards. Now we've got four to six. 10 to 15 centimeters of lateral shift with this lead hip. That's the PGA Tour average, thanks to Dr. Robert Neal on world-class golf instruction. And what we're looking at there is getting a feeling of this lead side lifting up. Now you can see how high my left shoulder is through the golf ball, the right knee moving in towards the left. And really after impact, we want to have this lead leg slightly bent. You can see how that looks. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction. Okay, so look, these type of positions, the closer you get to them, the better you hit, the further away, the worse you hit. And that's why I put together world-class golf instruction, worldclassgolf.com, and with the online swing analyst there, it's the same as the YouTube video with your swing. It's the same as this video, except with your swing, my voiceover, and we've got tailored drills and exercises. You get it in a compressed email. We're looking at around 20 to 30 minutes of instruction there, and it's a higher level of instruction at a lower prop price and investing in your golf. It's such a great thing to do, and this platform has really been transforming people. Guys, these drills, these exercises, really helps us build our motion and get on the path to playing some fantastic golf.